a bloody Scotland. So we're back up in Tyree for the Wave Classic. So far this year on the tour, it has been firing. We've had two events already. Ireland went off. We had amazing conditions, really windy and wavy down the line. I think uh, Port Tack and just some of the most mental conditions you've ever seen. Three, three and just mast high waves just crashing around. Next up, a week later, we went straight to Ross Niger and it just turned itself on. We had one of the best days of Ross Niger of the year. Sort of low go high, full on jumping and riding. Seven thirty-nine, and we're at the beach. Well, nearly at the beach. Waves are coming. There's the only forecast for this week. The best forecast today, so everyone's turning up early. Seven forty-five skimming. Looks like we got some waves up in the outer reef. I don't know about the wind, we should see it's forecast to be west going northwest, so it should get down the line, maybe a few jumps early in the morning. I don't know, fingers crossed we get something for getting up this early. <laughs> So after a super close final, Timo just took it ahead of John Sky, Danny Bruce, and is very happy Jack Hunt. But it's not over. We can run a double elimination in UK competitions now, which gives the back markers a chance to come all the way through. I managed to get a nice run going and probably have progressed through four or five heats, making up to fourth place with Jack Hunt. Hi, I'm Andy King and you're watching Windsurfing.tv So that was Tyree and now, as if by magic, we're here in Cornwall. Contrary to English. What are we doing here? Well, we're here for the More My Wave Classic, a new event on the tour organised by the newly formed BWA. It's held here in Grivians at one of the UK's best wave sailing spots. With the standings as they are, this event is going to be the decider for the UK wave title. So whatever conditions we get, this competition is going to go off. Like I said, the BWA has organised this event and aims to run the whole UK wave tour next year. But what is it? Let's ask Maurice Saunders. He's sitting next to me. <laughs> How you doing? Yeah, not too bad. Okay, so what is the BWA? The BWA is a rider-led, rider-run organisation and we're looking to really encourage wave sailing across the board, get more amateurs involved yep. and just get everybody down to the beach and having a good time. Pretty similar to the UKWA, is there any much difference? It's similar to the UKWA, it's just tailored to wave sailors. It's run by the wave sailors for the wave sailors. Uh, and same events, what, what sort of events are we looking at? What venues? We're looking to do Ireland, Scotland, Wales and England. Okay, so the main four events. Sa Any particular venues format. in these places? Uh, we're looking at Brandon Bay, Jamie Knox. Yeah. Uh, we're looking at Ross Niger, uh, looking in Tyree yeah. and back here in Gwivian. 
nice addition here in Grivians. We've got a team event going on, which is it's, it's gone down really well. We've got probably yeah. over 50 entrants here in the amateur fleet. For sure, the team event. This is the first time that we've done it. It's a new concept. Yeah. The idea is, is you enter a team of amateurs of three people. Your team then goes into a. You, you come up with a separate team score, and then there's prizes for the team. You're issuing each team with a, a pro fleet member to look after and guide them yeah. through the competition. For sure. One of the confusing things that puts a lot of people off competing is that they don't understand the the formula or the, or the how it's put together so the idea is is that you're going to have a mentor who's a pro who's done it who's who knows the score so if you have any questions during the competition you can ask your pro rider he'll help you out and you and it takes away a lot of the confusion and this is all in the entry fee and this is all part of the entry fee wow that's amazing bargain <laughs> thanks for that murray all the sailors are behind the bwa and it's looking bright for 2010 let's hope the conditions play ball and we get some really good events and speaking of events, me and Murray have got to get going because the wind and waves are picking up and the single's about to start, so let's go. Yeah, we just finished the final, uh, really tricky conditions out there, uh, quite gusty, quite light and really setty, you have to really sort of try and pick the right wave and it's hard to know which wave to go for. I think it's going to be really close. I saw Ben have a couple of long waves from upwind. Um, I heard Jamie had a really good aerial and mine was so slow, so I don't know, I can wait and see. Fingers crossed. Final of the single elimination, the more my Cornish wave classic. The winner is John Sky on our job. <laughs> Second place, Ben Prophet. Fourth place, Andy Porter. So there you go, Skyboy taking the win in the single. But as they say, it's not over till it's over. Me and Jamie have still got a chance, but it's going to be tricky because we're going to have to beat him twice. Tomorrow at Marazine, it's on. Let's see what happens. Okay, we're in uh, Marazine today, and it is. Um, down to the last five sailors and uh, it's looking pretty good. Looks like it's getting windier and uh, yeah, it should be a good day. The start of attack, uh, looks really, really good fun out there. Uh, I'm super psyched. I haven't sailed conditions like this for ages, so I'm really happy. So that's it, Skyboy is the new UK Wave Champion. I'm pretty gutted, I imagine Jamie's pretty gutted, so you don't want to hear me and him moaning, so let's get have a word with Skyboy for a more chirpy comment. <laughs> we just finished the double elimination here in Cornwall, it's super difficult conditions, I think I just scraped here by a point or two. Um, so with that I'll take the event title and with it the UK title, so super stoked obviously. So that's it for 2009, a pretty awesome tour, we got a new wave champion John Sky. well done. Uh, <laughs> we got a new uh, organisation next year, the BWA, let's hope we get more of these classic conditions in some of the best venues in the whole of Europe. As for me, I'm off to Cape Town, I'll see you boys later. Finished uh, the double elimination. Uh, ben was the one that came through to, to face me in the final, and I beat him. So that means I've 